<clears throat> so let's start this podcast off a little bit more uh, hatred in our lives. I'm sort of kidding, but anyway, the the main the main topic t- today is going to be the game called Hatred. Okay, and um, I saw this video on TikTok. I'm I don't even know where the hell it is. I just kind of watched it and then scrolled past it, um, and. It seems that there's an issue with uh, with this game, and you're pretty much a serial killer. Um, not really. Actually, that's a lie. You kind of go on a rampage. Like, did you ever see the movie Rampage uh, on Netflix? I think, let me let me pull it up real quick. Rampage. Netflix. So, there's, I think they made three of these. I'm going to be honest. Oh, it's not currently available. Suck it. All right, where, where are the images so I can show you exactly what, what it looks like? This 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 movie. So now I think this is... I think there's maybe two. President Down. I think there's two or three. I'm pretty sure there's two. Oh, look. There's another one. So there, it looks like there's... So there's three. I don't know if they're the, by the same person. But... There's, there's at least two of these movies. I know I've seen two, two, two of them. And at first I was like, uh, this is kind of nuts. Like, why are, why are we, uh, why are we killing people? Like he just goes around killing people. Like it's just like a, it is literally the name of the movie. It's just ramp. It just, he just goes on a rampage. Um, which I think hatred is kind of what it is, but it's, it's game. It's a game. It's not a movie. It's a game. Okay. So I get it. Okay. I get it. I, I understand the perspective of what people think video game violence does to you or to young people or whatever. But from my experience, I've been playing video games for it has been a while. I want to say like 20 years i'm 30 so like 20 years ish 20 years so i can tell you firsthand as a youngster playing violent video games it really doesn't instill that much i want to say anger or hatred or no pun intended or the 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 ability or the the desire to do harm to others that's not what video games do so i want you to understand that if you're watching this as a parent i mean i'm a parent too now at this point i'm not saying go go and get your like five-year-old to go start playing gta it's not what i'm saying when they're like 10 or 12 13 like that's when i kind of started playing more violent video games i i could say firsthand okay it really isn't as bad as you think it is okay and that's, that's the funniest part about it is that I know a lot of people and I've seen a lot of news stories, yada, yada. They try to link violent video games to crimes. And at the end of the day, a video game is not going to translate to real life. Like, this is a bad example probably, but I'm going to roll with it. When I was younger, Modern Warfare 2 lobbies had blatant racism in them. Blatant. Okay, people were screaming the n-word. People were yelling to the hills, cursing each other out. Like, you, like we were cursing out th- th- ten, ten-year-olds. Okay, it was a bad time, but but it was a great time at at the same time. All right. The thing, the problem is the no, the actually the 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 not 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 the problem, but the real story here that people have to understand is that. You don't get violent from video games. It's not a thing that happens. Like, you don't just all of a sudden, like, want to go on a rampage because you've been playing GTA for 10 hours straight. If anything, a lot for a lot of people, it's stress relief. And as much as, much as I used to yell at games, as much as I used to scream and yell at games, I can assure you that I would never want to go on a rampage. Then again, I'm also a stable human being sometimes and (laughs) and that that's the that's the common misconception i think that people are like yeah let's they're trying to blame something right people are trying to blame something they're trying to blame whatever they can 
to like make sense of school shootings and whatever else. But at the end of the day, it's the people. And as, and as much as you don't want to think that your child is a, is a fucking asshole, your child's a fucking asshole. Okay. Now that's both sides of the spectrum. I'm not just saying like the person that shoots everybody. I'm also saying the people that make fun of that person that gets them to, to that point. If you've ever seen 13 reasons why, You'll understand my point. If you haven't watched that show, go 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 watch it. I don't even know if it's even on Netflix anymore, but it's most likely on Netflix still. If it's not, I'd be surprised. But if you're if you're like if you're not really a key, too keen on school shootings and topics like like this, you can you can go now. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be honest with you. These violent video games do not cause people shooting up schools. People shooting people, going on rape. That's not what happens. That's not a real thing. There's And there's also data out there that proves that. But, you know, obviously there's people that just going to believe what the fuck they, they want to believe no matter what da data is presented in front of them. That's besides the point. I want to change this camera position. Hold on a second. Eh, no. There we are. Oh yeah. Look 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 at that. That looks it actually kind of looks worse now probably. It looks like it's like off center. I don't even care. It's fine. Anyway, that doesn't happen with this. Okay? There's again, there's there's data that proves that. But at the end of the day, what I what I really want everyone to understand here is that it's the people that are in our everyday society that are doing the shooting. Like Guns don't kill people, pe people kill people. I do actually believe that. But at the end of the day, everyone that does harm to others, it's the person that's the problem. Like, we have to look at the core issue of this whole thing. And the whole thing is, like, this game... And actually, let's see if they're... Uh, this is... I'm, I'm like... I'm, I'm, I'm going to turn off the uh, the volume for, for this, but... um, Come on, load... Let's go. There's actually, this actually looks pretty good for, for being like 10 years old. This actually looks like a pretty good game. Pretty solid game. Yeah, I mean, you pretty much go on a rampage. Like you go out and you kill everybody. That's, that's, that, that's what happens. And it, that's like sums up the whole thing. And you know, it's like, there's something wrong with this person that is doing the killing. Like we can't blame guns. We can't blame games. We can't blame movies. Like if there's going to be the media, which again, tries to control everything that, that we consume, they're going to, they, they are physically going to be the ones controlling what you see and what you hear. Don't believe everything that's that, that you hear. Okay. Cause again, they're the people like he's going on a rampage right, right now. Like he's going through killing, killing everyone. Uh, I, I pressed the, I, I forgot if I press the, the number keys, then it, you know, then it, uh, <laughs> it skips around the video, but, 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 but anyway, like, you know, he's going in here, he's going to go kill everybody, but this is just a game. Like it's not, it's, this isn't real. You know, like, like, I mean, again, stable hu human beings are not going to do this. They'll play this game and be like, this is fun. This it's a little messed up, but it's fun. Like if you've ever played Modern Warfare three, the no Russian thing. Uh, let's you know what let's let's go let's go to that real quick. If you've played this, right? If you've played no Russian, the no Russian e e episode on on Modern Warfare is is it Modern Warfare two or Modern Warfare three? Oh, it's it's Modern Warfare two. I'm I'm sorry, Mo Modern Warfare two, the no Russian. Um. Level. Level right level you know it's like you just walk into you just walk into a place oh wait hold on like look look you just walk out of an elevator everyone raises their guns they turn around and just unload like but <laughs> Why am I laughing? I'm sorry. Um, 
But, like, what sane person is going to go in and do that to an airport? You know what I mean? That's that's not real. That's the, that's what the video that 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 I watched was yes yesterday. It was it was de- it was saying that like it was banned off of Steam and everything because it was like too, you know, it was too crazy, too hectic, too you know, uh, vi- violent, and it's it it would cause issues with kids. And I'm just like, I mean, obviously you shouldn't have your kids go to play this, but like they're fictional characters in a in a in a fictional game, you know, and it's like. Even if AI were to get introduced into these games, right? And like now all the things are, you know, all the people are sentient and whatever else. Like I could guarantee you there's going to be some kids that are just going to want to just go through and kill everybody. But it's like they're not going to do that in real life. It's just not, it's not realistic to think that like these things are the reason why people are violent. It's just not because it, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's not the reason I can tell you that right now. Like, I'm violent because of stupid people at work. But again, I'm not killing anyone for it. I'm going on Gears of War or something and going to just execute people. In-game, just to be clear. All right? So, I wouldn't worry about our generation of kids seeing, you know, like, a violent video game and then being like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go kill people now. Like, that's not... There's no correlation between that. I, 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 I don't even need to look at the data, and I can tell you that's not a correlation. I, I have I have many friends that have been gamers that aren't violent. And you know, the thing is, the flip side of this coin, which I kind of touched on this on another episode, but the flip side of that coin is, I've had many friends, I've gained many friends from gaming. That's, that's what actually happens, especially with multiplayer gaming. What is, what is happening? Oh my God, why does everyone have to call me? Don't care. Didn't ask. Anyway, I'm, I'm actually surprised that that camera stayed on. That's my phone that's going off. Interesting. You guys probably can't hear hear that, but you know, hey. So so anyway, um, I I I uh, the, the the benefits of gaming are way outweigh than what the media says that that they are. Like, you get instant. You you get you get instant feedback it's actually kind of insane when, when, when you think about it like the kids that that are very ahead in life are always going to like use a video game as a way of just getting instant feedback and that's why school isn't really the best for a lot of like i would say advanced thinkers like i i i love the instant fe- feedback and, I, and i'm not trying to say like the instant high i'm trying to say like i i, I love the instant feedback of winning and losing, right? So I'm older now and I don't really like enjoy it that much. I'm a little bit more patient now. But at the end of the day, you really get to see your work in progress and have it be done very fast. For finance, what I've looked at is the Robert Kiyosaki game. I know I don't he's okay right right now. But um if you want to if you want to like learn how to like do um you know like real estate or save money or invest and whatever else i i recommend if you have no experience at all go look up like robert kiyosaki's game fi- finance game that actually teaches you like to make decisions and then it gives you instant feedback and you can kind of like do that to your you can kind of apply that to your daily life instead of you know just you know, trying and failing a bunch of different times. It kind of gives you like a good, uh, I, w- I want to say path to take. Um, but the, o- the other good thing about ga- ga- gaming is, is the multiplayer. Like you, you, you get to talk to people, you get to interact with people, you get to feel like you're a part of a community, especially if you join a discord group or if you like, now there's discord groups when I was really gaming a lot, like there wasn't discord groups. It was like, you know, Xbox, you know, not the community thing on Xbox is actually new too, but there's like a community, like you join parties and stuff like that and whatever else, uh, you know, you meet mutual friends through your like main friends or whatever else. But you know, it's like at the end of the day, man, like it just, I just don't see it. It's just not there. The data is also there. That's that shows it. It's, you, you, there's no direct correlation between somebody playing a game like rampage and then being like, I'm going to go shoot up some, like some place. It's just, it's just not realistic. Like there has to be something that happens in real life that causes this problem. 
That's the stuff we have to start asking. Like, what happens to the people that do it? Like, what happened to them? Why are they doing it? How can we fix it? Is it even fixable? But you want somebody to blame, and that's what happens. Like, you want somebody to blame, and that's what the media capitalizes on. They say, oh, yeah, you have to blame somebody, so here's what we're going to blame. He played video games, so clearly it's that. No. You can't just assume that. (laughs) You know, that's like, that's like if, if, if somebody killed themselves, if they jumped off a bridge and they, 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 they like to eat salads, you know, for, for, uh, for lunch that, you know, there you go. Like no more eating salads. Cause you, cause you'll kill yourself if you eat salads. Like it's, it's just, it's just almost directly uncorrelated that it's like, I know that was a stupid example, but at the same time, it's like, that's kind of the example that's happening. Like. You know, it's like you play Zelda, so clearly you're gonna you're gonna shoot up a school. It just makes no sense. So I get the argument, as I've said, with you know violent vi- 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 video games, but it's like violent video games are a way of of relieving, of just relief. Like you can go in, you could shoot things. Like I play Gears of War. Lots of people play Gears of War. It's like, am I just gonna walk up to somebody, and blast them away with a shotgun? No. I just I just don't see the argument, and I never have. That's the problem. And I and I actually think a game like Hatred might actually be fun to play, to, 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 to be honest. I mean, I also like shooter games, but that's besides the point. But shoot them up games, shoot them and kill them games, and just all-out fun games are just are just there to, like, make you relieve stress. You know, and then if you, can, if you can play with friends, it's even better. Why not play with friends? Why not have a blast playing the game with friends and being able to enjoy every single second that you possibly can Playing with buddies on- online, being able to just relieve stress, e- e- even if you're mad and you're screaming at the game, why bother caring or think? You know, like, like I, I just, I wouldn't, I don't understand how it would cross your mind. Like, oh yeah, like I, let me shoot somebody in game. Oh, that you know what? That let's see what happens in real life. Like, like you, you compare things. Like you're like, all right. Um, I did a video, actually I did a short the the other, uh, probably the other month and it was, um, it was funny because it was like the 20, the 122, 122 millimeter shell hitting a person, right? And it's like, it pretty much annihilates their body. Like they're like, it was just the torso, but like it, you just, it just exploded. Right. And the person, there was like just pieces everywhere. Right. I said at the end of the video, like somehow Call of Duty and Battlefield would find a way to make that a hit marker, you know, and it's true, but like, that's the kind of stuff you think about. You're like, you, you shoot somebody in like the head with, with like a 50 cal sniper rifle and it's like, they just walk away from it. And you're like, you're like, no, that's not how that works. Like, that's the shit you think about. You don't think about like, yeah, let's, let me go into like an elementary school and see, you know. It just makes no sense. It just it, to me, it just it's just like why are you trying to correlate these two things? They're just not they're not the same. Nobody that plays a violent vi- 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 nobody that plays a violent video game will go into into any kind of rampage mode. It makes no sense. It's just it's just all right. And I'm just gonna end it there because I'm done talking about this.